Hello friends, today I'm going to give you some big budget and low budget pro tips on how to set up for a virtual video audition, meeting, or interview. First, let's talk about lighting. If you can create a setup that has you facing a window, that is a great setup. You can save money on buying lights, on your electricity bill, and still get a great look for your video conference. If you can't do that, or don't really want to rely on daylight for your virtual meetings, you can buy some lights. There are lots of different low-cost video lights you can buy from video stores or Amazon and various stands and mini stands to mount them. For my money, I'd recommend something that has a little diffusion like a continuous lighting softbox light kit. If you are looking for something a little more compact, consider an onboard video light with a mini stand and some diffusion paper. If you're on a small budget, a desk lamp with some dollar store eco-friendly daylight bulbs will do and you can buy some heat resistant parchment paper for diffusion. Desk lamps with a long arm can be useful in small spaces, but if you have the space, you really can't beat a pro continuous lighting system with good diffusion. Next, let's talk about sound. It's always a good idea to separate your listening and speaking devices. Whether you are using a computer or smartphone for your video conference, best practice is to not use the built-in microphone and speakers together. You never want your microphone to hear what your speakers are broadcasting. In some cases, it can create an audio feedback loop, or in other cases, the built-in software's noise cancellation will cause your audio to be very choppy. A good practice is to use wireless Bluetooth earbuds for listening. On a budget, you can get some low-cost earbuds and use your phone or laptop's microphone, as the less expensive earbuds will have lower quality microphones, but fairly decent audio for listening. If you have a bigger budget, you can invest in high quality earbuds that have good quality audio for listening and a good quality microphone as well. Let's talk about your space and background. Ideally, it's great to have the space and background to set up from anything from a head to toe shot to an extreme close up. That being said, casting agents and interviewers understand that not everyone has a professional soundstage in their living quarters. If you can, avoid a white background or backgrounds with overly bright and reflective paint. A matte background or a painted wall that absorbs light would be ideal. That way you won't get washed out in the frame or distracting hot spots behind you. There are several low cost backgrounds and background stands on Amazon, but on a tight budget, any cheap matte fabric on a set of hooks or a shower curtain rod will do nicely. Now let's connect. Your internet connection is very important. If you have a bad Wi-Fi signal or interruptions in the Wi-Fi signal, it can cause choppy video and audio, or it can cause your video conference to drop altogether. The best option for a strong internet connection is to use an Ethernet cable to plug your desktop or laptop computer directly into your router. If the router and computer are far away from each other, consider using a wire fastener to run the cable along the baseboards of your walls to where your computer is. If your computer doesn't have an Ethernet input, you can get an Ethernet to USB adapter at a very reasonable price at your local computer accessory store or Amazon. If you really can't use an Ethernet cord for your computer or you're using your phone, make sure you know where the strongest signals for your Wi-Fi are in your space. Finally, let's talk about cameras. A lot of people will be using their smartphones and that's A-OK. -okay. A few tips when using your smartphone though for important video conferences and auditions. Make sure your lens is clean. Your smartphone lens is a small one and even a little dirt or smudge can hinder the quality of your image. Please, please, please invest in a tripod and a phone mount. You want your tripod to be able to heighten to a little higher than your own height. That way you can angle your image as needed. And charge your phone ahead of time. Your space might not accommodate a charger cable every time and the cable is just one more thing to trip over and knock over your setup. If you're using a laptop, I highly recommend investing in a separate webcam for auditions, callbacks, or virtual teaching sessions. Dedicated webcams will be fairly high quality, most likely better than your built-in camera, and you can buy webcams that can be mounted to a tripod for better positioning and angling. If you are using your built-in camera, my only advice to you is be careful how you perch your laptop to get the height you are looking for. Now, if you're rolling in dough, you got buckets of ducats or have copious amounts of cash, a prosumer DSLR or mirrorless camera will add a degree of pro video quality that your web camera or smartphone just won't be able to match. Several Canon DSLRs can be used as a webcam with the Canon EOS webcam utility via USB. Another option is to invest in a video capture device that has little to no latency. That way, any camera with an HDMI output can be used as a webcam. 
If you are going down the prosumer camera road, some handy things to look for are a camera with a good quality image for videos, a flip out monitor that you can see from the front, and a video autofocus for when you have to move around on camera. Thanks for tuning in, and happy video conferencing! Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, check out the description for links to more videos.